A, B and C started a business in partnership. Initially, A invested twenty nine thousand, while B and C invested twenty five thousand each. After four months, A withdrew rupees three thousand. After two more months, C invested twelve thousand more. Find the share of C in the profit of rupees thirty three thousand two hundred at the end of the year. Here, A invested twenty nine thousand and B and C invested twenty five thousand each. Now, after four months, A withdrew rupees three thousand. After four months, A withdrew three thousand, and after two more months, C invested twelve thousand. Two more months means after six months, C invested twelve thousand, um, which means B invested for twelve months. Now, take the ratio. When you take the ratio of A, B, and C's investment, this thousand will cancel each other. So, remaining is here. A invested twenty nine thousand for four months means A invested twenty nine into four plus after four months he withdrew three thousand means remaining is twenty nine minus three twenty six thousand. So for the remaining eight months he invested twenty six thousand and B invested twenty five thousand for twelve months and C invested twenty five thousand for Six months, and after six months, he invested twelve thousand more. Which means, for the remaining six months, he invested twenty five plus twelve, thirty seven thousand for six months. Now, ratio is equal to if I take four outside, this will become twenty nine plus fifty two. Fifty two plus twenty nine is eighty one. Now here twenty five into twelve, and here. If I take six outside, six into twenty five plus thirty seven, twenty five plus twenty five fifty, fifty plus twelve sixty two. Now here we have twelve, so take twelve outside. So six into two is twelve. Remaining is twelve into thirty one. Here three into twenty seven is eighty one. Three into four is twelve. So twelve into twenty seven. Now I can cancel twelve from all these terms. Remaining is. Twenty-seven is to twenty-five is to thirty-one. So C share is equal to thirty-one part. Thirty-one part out of total is equal to twenty-five plus twenty-seven, fifty-two, fifty-two plus thirty-one, eighty-three. Into total profit is thirty-three thousand two hundred. Now eighty-three into four is Three thirty two. So thirty one into four hundred is equal to four hundred three twelve twelve thousand four hundred. So C share is equal to twelve thousand four hundred. Option four is your answer.